Hi folks, Jay from Broken Arrow Archery. Thank you again for your support and following our videos and, and helping us out, keeping our store operating. One of the most overwhelming things we've had lately is people buying bows, rushing out and buying a bow online and then getting it in the box in the mail and not knowing what to do with it, how to set it up. You know, people have been drawing the bows back and dry firing and we've had a few in for repair. Others, you know, they, they come set up at a certain length, you need to, to do things to the bow before they're ready for you to shoot. So here we go, this is how a box would arrive. Hi folks, Hi. Jay, yep. brand new bow, yep. in a box, up. this is how it comes. Yeah. All right, so there's obviously going to be a few things that we've got to consider. Yes, yep, okay, so first thing I want to do is get it out of the, out of the box, of course. So um, when you order a bow, of course, you'll, you'll get things with it, release aid, arm guard, and some arrows in there, and the bow comes in, you know, in a plastic bag. Ready to go, there's lots of bits and pieces in here. Now, Jay, has that bow been set up at all? Or? No, no, no. So it's just straight from the factory. Most bows, when they come from the factory, are wound down to the bottom in the limbs so that they're set at maximum power. So, this is bow goes up to 70 pounds, and this is wound right down and set at 70 pounds. So if you're new to archery and you get this bow and try that's, and draw it back, okay. you're yeah, gonna yeah, hurt something. Going 70 going pounds is yeah, a lot of weight. Including yourself. Yeah, okay. The other thing is they'll come set, generally all bows come set at 29 inches of draw from the factory. It's a standard thing. Kids bows are smaller draw, but mm. adult size bows generally will come from the factory at 29 inches. So that generally 29 inches, someone who's around getting near six foot tall, basically, decent sized wingspan. So if you're not six foot tall and you try and draw this bow back, if you can, 70 pounds, it's going to be way too long for you to draw. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and can I tell you one thing, folks, that we get constantly is people grab that bow out of the box. And look, I'm the same. You can't wait. You just want to grab it. You want to see if you can pull that thing back. And of course, the string slips out of their fingers. Dry yes. fire. Yeah. And the, the bows do have warnings clearly marked on them. We must never dry fire a bow. That's right, yeah. Yeah. If you do if you do draw it back and let the string go, yeah, lots of things are gonna happen. Generally the string will break, it'll you know, it'll catch on something sharp and yeah, cut in half. Then all the load goes off the limbs, the limbs straighten out and they yeah. can crack. The cans can bend, lots of things. Basically, you can destroy the bow in one second just That's by right. dry firing. And the out. chances of the bow actually fitting your body shape and tight without making the, the adjustments that are on the limbs, it like, it, it's very rare that it's going to happen. So yeah. don't even draw it back. Get yeah. it out of the box and let's start going through it. Yeah, or read the instructions at least and then and do some setting up yourself. But if you don't, like most people, un, un, instructions are hard to understand. Sure. Come into a shop like ours and we'll help you set them up properly. Yeah. You know, set it right for your draw length. Yeah. So the first thing we do with uh, people that come into the shop, of course, is we want to look at them and go, right, how, you know, we can just do visually what how strong. Size. We ask them some questions, have you done archery before? If you haven't, well, generally we're going to set the bow at a low draw weight so that it's not going to, sure. they're not going to strain themselves and hurt anything because you can always add weight onto the bow later on as they progress through their shooting And, and you're going to be shooting a lot of arrows when you first get this bow. So getting your technique and form is probably more important than having an excessively heavy bow. Yeah, that's yeah. right, yeah. So, so the first thing you have to do, obviously, is set the draw length and the draw weight of the bow. So how we do that for the draw length, there, there's a few different ways. Um, the one we use generally here is we have some markings on the wall, which we'll probably take down and show you. Um, which measures your wingspan basically. So you, you get your wingspan, you divide it by 2.5, and that's generally your draw length. But that's a variable. Some people have longer arms, some have shorter arms at this, this six. But as, as a general starting point, that's what we want to do. So, folks, if you want to stop the video, push pause, go and grab a tape measure and a calculator and push play again. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to get, get you with the bow and we're going to set you up against the wall here. So what I want you to do, Rich, is just put your fingers up against this thing here. Lay your arms out, don't stretch out, just nice and comfortably relax your back against the wall and touch your fingers to the wall. And I'm just going to put a mark on the wall here, all right? That's his wingspan. And we'll measure it. So he's, we're talking inches, because bows are American basically, so 74 inches. Now I'm going to divide that by 2.5. With the calculator, 74 divided by 2.5. This gives me 29.6. That's so my pull up, yeah, 30 inches basically. 30 inch. Yeah, that's right. Right, so so this bow here, this is a Bear Cruiser G2. Um, 
you'll see on the on the cam there, there's me measurements there so that goes from 14 inches right around to 30 inches of draw so this one there's a little window we look in I don't know if you can see that down in that little window there it says 26 so this is set at 26 inches so we want to change that now up to Rich's draw length of 30 inches so all I have to do with this a lot of bows, a lot of these entry level bows like this bow are easily adjustable. You just got to take these little screws out. Alright, so this is most bows, entry level bows like this one will have what we call a rotating module. So this module here just rotates around the axle. And so what we're going to do is dial it around until in that little window it says 30 inches. We'll line it up as best we can. And what that's going to do is line up two more bolt holes. So one here and one down in the little slot there. And we just put the screws back in. All right, so we've done one end. We've got to do the other end the same. I suppose if they're two matching cams, you've got to change the module and the draw length on each end. Some bows are what they call a solo cam or a one cam bow where you only change it on one end. All right, so now we've changed the draw length of the bow to suit Rich's draw. The next thing we do is to change the, the draw weight itself. So you do that by widening these limbs out. Now, all bows are different as to how long these bolts are and how many Good turns point. you can take out of them. On this bow, you'll see a little sticker on there. It says 12 turns maximum. So that means that from bottom out, we can wind that 12 full turns out and still be safe. Do so, not exceed that. Do yes. Not exceed that. So make sure you read the instructions and look up how many turns are on the bow. Some some bows are only four turns, so some are three actually. So just got to, you don't want to just keep going winding, winding, winding because if this unwinds, this is under tremendous load there. This is going to fly off. It's going to really hurt. <laughs> very very dangerous. So most important, you know, observe what how many turns are there. Well, Jay, like even though I've shot before, having a new bow, I'd like to get used to it. They've all got their little idiosyncrasies, so yep. I don't yep. want to have feel like I'm over bowed. So how about we take it out six turns? Yep. Yep. So and this is roughly, a seventy pound yeah. max bow, and it goes down to fifteen pound. I think a bear cruiser. So. Like halfway out, it's not going to be halfway on that scale, no. so it's not going to come in at. Yeah, we'll see. Let's see. It, yeah, it'll probably drop it down to around fifty pound or something like that. That'd be good. So we're going one, two turns. Do that. What we do on the top, we do. On we don't the just bottom. wind six turns out of here, then six out of there. We just gradually step it down so so you know all, all comes out nice and even. Just so do like two turns. Two turns. Make sure you got your Allen key at 12 o'clock or 6 o'clock positioning on the limb bolt, that way you'll know when you've completed a full turn. That's two turns, that's four total. Yeah, two more. Here it goes. Okay, that's the stance. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, we, you won't have these. These are both scales, or you can use like your scales too, but... Um, I'm just going to weigh what this bow is on at the moment. So 53 pound. Sounds fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. sounds good. Yeah. So Rich has done a bit of shooting before. If you haven't done any shooting, um, you know, an adult male, I would probably put this down to around 40, 40. pound. Yeah. yeah, around yeah. 40 pounds. So, you know, on this bow, uh, we've taken, what, six out and we've gone down to 53. You probably want to take three more turns. Three more turns. And you'll be around that 40 pound. Um, so this has come off a production line. Yep. And one of the things that we see more often than not is the arrow rest. Yep. Has really just been placed onto the bow. Yep. And uh, now it's time to really start to check that. that. Yeah, get that arrow. So just I'm going to grab an arrow. Yep, do that. Well, while you do that, I'm just going to run around and check all the bolts and things like that. So we've already done the modules, just made sure those bolts are tight. Um, we've adjusted our limb bolts. So just want to make sure things like the side um, quiver thing there. We're gonna we're gonna probably adjust this arrow rest anyway. But while you can, just run around and make sure all the bolts of all the accessories are, are just nipped up. They generally are, but you never know. Something can be loose on there, and once you start, uh, you know, firing it, things can vibrate loose pretty quickly. All right. Well, that's that's pretty right. I might just check that cable side.
And, and you'd suggest that when you do get a new bow, Jay, once you've done all this, like every time you shoot, you really should go over all of those. Oh yeah, yeah. Bolts. Every time you, you know, probably shoot two or three hundred shots, just right, spend a bit of time, yeah. yeah, checking over all the bolts. Okay, so we've got that set around about fifty pounds, which yeah. should be okay yep. for me now. Yeah. Um, all right. So the next thing we want to do is just check um, the center shot. Right. Yeah. So these arrows, I just like said earlier, they they just throw them on at the factory. They're never right, and yeah. sometimes they are. But yeah. Well, this one's definitely not. So, quick and easy way that you can do at home. I mean, I, I normally do it visually, but I've got 20 years of experience in doing that. So, yeah. um, is to get a piece of string yeah. and run it across between the two limb bolts, so the very center of the two bolts, that the ones that we just adjusted out. The yeah. Just put a bit of tape on there to hold that string so it's right in the center. Here. I'll just get that center shot arrow. Yeah, we've. How are they going to do that alone? <laughs> well, we've actually just made a small arrow here out of a larger gauge and a, a smaller gauge arrow that just uh, goes in and out. So, uh, yeah, you might be able to find a way of doing that. Come on, on, drop through there, slide it out. So, yeah, you can see the tip of that arrow is, you know, good, probably a centimetre across. So, what we've got to do is move the arrow rest. Yeah, so there's our string. I put my hand behind here so it will focus. Yeah, and the arrow is like so about a centimetre away. So, what we're going to do is move the arrow across. Right, so we loosen that off. I'm going to slide that in until the point's okay. touching the string. Yeah. Looks good. Right, we'll lift that back up. So, we've adjusted that so that string is now right at the point of the arrow that's a pretty good quick go quick way to do center shot take that off and the rest thing we've got to do is put all the rest of the accessories on the bow if you haven't already done that um, so they'll come with a sling a stabilizer and a quiver and what's this sling for joe okay that's just there so that what you do is once we've got it on there is you slide your hand through the sling before you grip the bow so that when you shoot the bow um, you're supposed to shoot shoot the bow with a loose grip ideally but the slings there just to catch the bow basically so it doesn't fly out of your hand yeah just check some of our other videos on shooting technique and you'll get a bit of a rundown on that joe yeah we can show you that too once we test fire this anyway so oh, here we are yeah, got so it all ready to go all right, so one more time from the top. You get a bow out of the box, you've just bought online. There are three main things that we yep. need. What Set the draw length. Draw length, number one. Set the draw weight. Number two is getting that draw weight down because we don't want to be shooting a bow at the maximum. yourself. No, yeah. that's right. And then the centre shot. Get the centre shot set up pretty close. Get the alignment in set. Yep. Okay, great. Well, folks, don't forget to check out some of our other videos with our how to shoot and test and tune your gear. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the videos. We really appreciate your support. Great. Cool. Thanks. Thank Bye, folks. That was quicker and better, I think. Yeah.